Rolling up onto the block right now from 1970, the Plymouth Superbird. 1,935 of these built during the model year of 1970. This one is fully documented as authentic. Standard 440 would be 375 horsepower. That's what it looks like. See the Super Commando name on top of the air cleaner lid. Torque flight, automatic transmission, they're fairly popular. And check this out, bucket seats, no console, and the shift on the steering column. Pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. But again, this is the standard engine with the three-speed automatic transmission. This is the Roadrunner or the uh, the Superbird that you got to go to the barber shop, to go to the grocery store. Get your onion rings. Yeah, get your onion rings. Yeah. You save this. You save the hot one. This is your daily driver. Two hundred thousand dollars. All the Superbirds had vinyl tops. That was a good way to hide and disguise some of the modifications done to the top for the aero treatment. It wasn't all about the front or that big rear wing. It was also about that flush rear window, having that, getting that air over that car as smoothly as possible. Reserve coming off. It's close. Did they lift it? I... Okay, apparently not just yet. We've seen these trade a bit lower, but as soon as I saw this, I previewed this a little bit earlier in the day. It just the presentation of this car and the restoration of it is going to demand a higher price. And it has. We're at two hundred fifteen thousand dollars. We'll see where it ends up. Three engines available in the Superbird. This is the base engine, then the four forty six pack at three hundred ninety horsepower, and the Hemi at the top. Two hundred and fifteen thousand dollars, guys, is the sale price. Okay. Yeah, right.